All right, guys, sometimes, all the time, I seem to win the lottery for working too hard. This won't be a long video. I'm just going to do a quick overview, mostly because I think this could be like a, a four-part series of installing this system. Uh, but if I'm going to do a four-part series, that means it's going to take like two weeks, and I only have maybe two days to install this system. So let's take a look at it. So here we are back at the shop and we are installing a Bigfoot Quadra Manufacturing Automatic Leveling System. So, my customer ordered the entire installation kit and just to be even more difficult, this is actually on a Chevy uh, chassis, 4500 Express Cutaway. That's a pretty uh, uncommon Class C motorhome chassis. So it comes with the harnesses, all the jack mounts, all the hardware, you'll see even the uh, jack down warning switches are in there. You got the four jacks, this is where the jack down warning switches go. Uh, right back there are the four feet, they just have to be mounted right there. You got the brain of the system and uh, the pump. So unlike your older style uh, Bigfoot systems, this only has one single pump. They used to have one pump per jack. And uh, on some level, I was kind of hoping that was going to be the system I was installing because then I don't have to install all these hoses and route all those. But this is the new system. And uh, let's go take a look what we're putting it on. We're putting it on a brand new 2019 Leprechaun. This is absolutely brand new. And I wouldn't do a review of the motorhome, but it was, it's a really nice motorhome. They did a lot of nice things on it. The strangest thing, though, is if you look at that, it already has leveling on it. And if you look at it, it's equalizer leveling. So the power is on. So if I want to extend, I can just go ahead and extend. What's that sound? Oh, that's electric jacks. <laughs> electric jacks on a Class C motorhome. Now I've seen almost everything. They might even call them jacks, but this is a stabilizer system. It does not have a, uh, a level sensor. This is just something you would do manually. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to retract them. I guess that's what RET stands for. The worst part about this whole thing is already installing jacks is not the funnest job. But now, because this is a Chevy 4500 Express chassis, let's go take a look at these jacks. These are welded on. These brackets are welded on right there. So the jacks come off fairly simply with, uh, looks like 3 8 bolts and nuts, but I'm concerned that I'm going to have to cut the jack mounts off because those new mounts get welded on. Let's see these instructions right here. Look at that. Four point weld on bracket locations for, for the jack. So it shows me where to weld them on, which should be ironically right where the other ones are. Nothing like doing double work, is it? Uh, let's go underneath here. So here they are. Equalizer electric stabilizers for a motorhome. It's really just a uh, tent trailer uh, <laughs> stabilizer jack. Usually these mount uh, perpendicular to the frame, but these are parallel with the frame. You can see it better that way. Uh, I'm sure they work. I mean, they, they were leveling. They do work. I would just be really terrified of uh, twisting these things or accidentally rolling forward. Seems like you could get wedged in place. 
But at least they are electric. You can take them off a lot easier than hydraulics making a mess. But yeah, definitely couldn't change tire with these. You just bend them. Not that you're supposed to change tires with these jacks. Don't do that. I would never do that. All right, so I've just extended these jacks so I don't have to support them. As, uh, I take the bolts out. It's 3 eighths down here, 7 sixteenths on top. I'm going to take the bolts out. And then, uh, I don't know, unplug it and get each jack out. And then uh, see where the, uh, the stuff's going to mount. Alright, so I got the uh, bolts all off. They're there on the ground. So the jack is just supporting its own weight. So hopefully, I can just retract this one jack, get the pressure of the uh, vehicle off of it, and then it should loosen up. I can unplug it and just get it out of its way and then have to uh, hold it while I took everything apart. to unplug it and it's unplugged that was so much easier than holding on to this well here are the electric jacks normally you see these things more like that there's one motor that goes all the way across and they work together this they have a great big acne worm gear there and a bolt that falls out. And this is basically a slide out motor. You see these on uh, trailers all the time as a long worm gear slide out motor. Even that gearbox right there is nearly identical. Just slap their equalizer system on it. Uh, so there, there's the, uh, the jacks. Let's see uh, where these jack, new jacks go. Well, here's the uh, front jack mount. And Quadra wants me to install it. Six inches, I guess, back from the front body mount. No, yeah. And then three inches above the top of the frame right there. So let me go find out on the uh, chassis where that actually is. It's probably going to be right where this jack is. I'm afraid of what I'm going to have to do. So with everything out of the way, let's take a look. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. So, the flange off the old uh, mount is in the way. Because it needs to come down. Oh, you know what? Yeah. So it needs to be right about there. It's supposed to be six inches from this mount right there. And we're about there. But, there's also a generator right here. So, and a parking brake cable right there. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get around a parking brake cable, a generator, and get this thing welded on. On the back side, we have a fuel rail, and uh, I don't know, what are those? Brake, brake lines probably? That's definitely fuel. And looking down there, I don't see, it. there you go, there's the return line. Okay, so brake lines. So when I weld this up, I gotta be clear of starting a fire, starting a fire, destroying uh, brakes. Hey, look at that! There's a chassis battery. Is that really the chassis battery? Okay, so the chassis battery's down here. <laughs> That's surprising. I didn't expect to see a chassis battery down here. Well, that makes it getting battery power a lot easier for the uh, brake or for the pump so that's not too bad so that's a good thing not a great thing but I didn't expect to see a chassis battery right here so now when I weld this up it's easy to disconnect the chassis battery the ground's right there ha <laughs> ha so that's pretty much going to be it I have to uh, figure out where to put these brackets weld them on modify everything to fit and uh, get these jacks put on I think that's going to be the hardest part, running everything else. It looks like the, the frame's pretty open, so I'm not too concerned about that. The jack panel's going to go to the front door to cover up where the other jack panel was, so I don't have to worry about 
interfacing with the uh, the chassis. I'll assume the uh, other system wouldn't work without the brake park brake hooked up. So that hopefully already has uh, <laughs> the park brake ran back somewhere. I'll figure this all out. Uh, if you guys have questions, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Kind of faking that anyways. <laughs> Bye. So uh, I, I know it's frustrating when you click on a video on how to install something and uh, you don't get a one step-by-step -step how to install. You just get a, hey, this is the kit and here it is installed. But I really just don't have time to make a, uh, a how to install video. Uh, what I will do is I'll get this installed. If I find anything, I guess, interesting, maybe I'll make a video and put, post it there too. Uh, and then I'll hopefully show you the finished product. If you don't see another video, it means I didn't finish it and uh, some bad things happened or something, right? All right, guys. See how this goes.